Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm the Psych Auto Score, and today we'll be talking about the WMS4. And per usual, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, look through to see that this whole guide is empty. So, um, whenever you're using one of my auto templates, uh, of course, you're just going to be looking for these yellow squares or cells. This is where you're going to be entering in the information, and in the white cells is where information will be output. Um, so it's going to go through. So as you can see, there's a bit of information you do need to enter. Um, right now, you know, all this other stuff is empty and it will be filled in in just a moment. Um, and yeah, so this is the first page. This is the second page. You'll only be seeing three tabs uh, when it's sent to you. And let's see, so it has the basic analysis, then it has the ability memory analysis, uh, which will be comparing the WASTE 4 with the WMS 4 scores. Um, so there's a lot less information input here, and then we have a graphs page. And just important to notice that a lot of this is, well, all of this is empty right now, and that's because we haven't put in any information in those yellow boxes. So um, first thing you're going to do is enter in whether or not this is an adult patient or an older adult patient. An adult patient is between the ages of 16 and 69, uh, which overlaps with the older adult population, which is between 65 and, I believe, 90 years old. So, uh, like usual, there's going to be a drop-down arrow here, so you can pick older adult or adult. Um, I'm just going to show you older adult real quick, and then we'll do a sample adult patient. So, notice how there's not a lot of dark gray cells, but as soon as I click this one, it'll take a moment to load. And that's just because there's a lot of formulas that uh, are supposed to be blank until there's information here. You're going to see a lot of N, uh, like hashtags N slash A's pop up as well. And if you're wondering why it's taking so long on my computer, it's because I have a 2012 MacBook Pro. So, let's see. Let's try it one more time. All right, so once we hit older adult here, um, you can see that a lot of these cells became uh, more darkly shaded. Uh, that's because you're no longer going to want to enter in information in these dark cells because uh, this older adult form doesn't have the designs one or designs two or the spatial addition. Uh, same with the index score of the uh, visual working memory or the VWMI. Uh, so a lot of things that use this data are going to be grayed out. So that's just for a heads up when you do use the older adult form. And but for this one, just so we can enter in more information and see more, demonstrate more of what this uh, template can do, we're just going to do adult this time. All right. So we're going to do years of education. This is for the brief cognitive status examination uh, classification. Uh, so we'll say this patient had 16 years, and I got rid of the date difference formula. I'm just going to have people put in the age of the patient. Uh, if you're not sure what the age is, I added in this new link right here, just a, a an age calculator that you can use. Uh, that hopefully will work in multiple countries. Uh, so this patient was 65. So this age group will auto-populate. And important note, I'm going to start entering in these raw scores right here. Uh, notice how none are shaded in, uh, but then we do have the CVLTs here. The CVLT should only be used if they're substituting the verbal paired uh, associates. Uh, maybe that should just be associations, sorry. <laughs> um, and let's see. So we're going to go ahead and do... Um, so you'll see once I put in those VPAs um, that the CVLTs will get shaded. So we're going to do... Alright, so those are darkly shaded now, so we know not to put any information in there. So skip over those. Uh, so sometimes they'll see a little bit of lag, and that's just because the formulas are calculating in the background. Um, this part right here might already be set um, when you get the form, um, because you get to choose between having a significance of 0.15 or 0.05. If 
think most people just like to do 0 0.05, so I'm just going to leave it as that. Now this index compares, uh, comparison for the critical value, um, that we can choose between the general group, and that just means, do we mean the adults, you know, everyone between 16 and 69 uh, as our sample norm, or um, that could also mean older adult, which is the 65 to 90 sample. Um, or we can use a specific age group. So we're going to use age group just because it's nice to be as specific as possible when you're doing your norms. And for the base rates, again, we can do the overall age of the patient, meaning 16 to 90, or we can do the general group, meaning the adults versus the older adults. So we're going to try to make it small or specific as possible and just keep it as the adult. Uh, now we're going to enter in the process score conversion. Um, for this patient, this is the sample patient had the scores. All right. Um, let's see. All right. So we have the cumulative percentages for these ones over here. Um, and then the scaled scores, um, for these ones here. Um, now, let's see. All right, so we do have the index scores already calculated here. Um, we'll enter in the raw score for that brief cognitive exam. We can see the patient has greater than or equal to 16 years, and they're between 45 and 69 on the age group. So we'll just say they got like a 55, and that puts their classification as average. Um, we can do the index level. Um, contrast scaled score, so just comparing the uh, the different indices to see what their contrast scaled score would be. Uh, next we have the sub subtest level differences within indexes. Um, so this will take the, um, the scaled score for each of the subtests and then compare it to the mean of the other uh, subtests used to calculate that index. Um, so, you know, for the auditory memory, we just take all four of these and then find the mean to those, and then we just uh, compare it to that mean to see if there's any significant differences with a 0 0.05 significance. Uh, we can see that there wasn't, except for one case right here, uh, where verbal paired associations um, was uh, significantly different uh, from the mean, meaning it's kind of stand out. Uh, the base rates will only calculate if they are, um, if there's a significant difference. So, um, so we have these two down here in the subtest discrepancy comparisons. Uh, since these um, index indices were so small, um, we they just had us, you know, compare the two subtests instead. So, um, let's see. With the uh, adult population, you'll use spatial addition uh, and symbol span, and for the older adult population, you'll use this visual uh, rep 1 versus visual rep 2. It'll calculate the difference here, uh, and only if it has a, um, a significant difference, then it'll calculate the base rate. And if you do want to change this between age group and general, um, just go ahead and go to the top up here. Um, and yeah, it'll be this one right here if you wanted to change that. Now, uh, moving on, uh, we can do the uh, index comparisons, this time not with the contrast score, but with the, uh, with the critical value, calculating whether or not it is um, uh, you know, clinically significant, the differences between the indexes. Uh, this last one down here is kind of a bonus I put in for you guys. Um, basically, you can take any of the subtests that you want um, and then just compare the two. Uh, you can even compare the uh, process scores as well. So if you want to see if the you know design one uh, context was different than the design two context, um, we can just put those two scaled scores in automatically calculate the difference, compare it to the critical value, and see whether or not it's significant. In this case, it was not. All right, so on this last page, uh, we're going to go to the settings over here. 
this will probably be already set to 0 0.05. There is a more specific one to 0 0.01. I think most people are more comfortable with the 0 0.05. Uh, so let's leave it at that. Then we can, um, and so as you probably already know, this is calculating the difference between uh, the waste scores and the uh, WMS scores. Um, so we can pick between whether or not we want the GAI, the VCI, or the PRI from the waste four. We'll stick with the GAI. That was a bit more robust. And then we enter it in the score for that. So um, we'll just imagine that the patient had a 110 GAI. We'll use age group again. And then we'll use the 0.05 significant differences. Uh, this, I know we already talked about significance earlier, but this is applying to uh, this lower one down here. Uh, I thought that was kind of weird because uh, for the lower one, it gives you just the options of 0.05 and 0.15, whereas the upper one gives you the different options of 0.05 and 0.01. So a little odd to me. So once we do that, uh, we can get the, if you want to use the predicted method, uh, it'll show you the predicted differences here, the actual differences here, uh, sorry, the actual um, value of them uh, with the differences, critical values, uh, significance, and base rates. Uh, if you want to use the simple difference method instead, it'll put the, uh, whatever you score you put over here, it'll pop it in here, calculate the difference compared to the critical value and tell you if it's significant or not with the base rates. All right, almost done. So um, now we'll, uh, we'll enter in the different waste scores for the contrast scale scores. So the GAI, we said it had 110. Uh, VCI, we'll say it had 100. Then a 90 for the PRI. Uh, and then for the WMI, we'll say it was uh, 95. So this will calculate all the contrast scale scores for us. Um, and then if you want to do comparisons, uh, I believe I had the WMI as 95, VCI as 100, PRI as 90, and the GI as 110. Uh, so this will let us know if the waste scores were um, you know, uh, significantly different than the WMS scores. Uh, all right, so one last thing, we'll just go over the graphs real quick. And as you can see, the graphs have been populated uh, with the different values. All right, uh, whenever these are blank, it tends to bring it down to zero. Working on fixing that um, just to make it look a little bit better. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and hope this helps you guys out.